today's video from Sharp Help, I'm going to demonstrate how you can force the electronic journal to print and clear every time you run your end of day Z1 resetting report. Uh, I'm also going to explain a bit about how the manual works. If you're just here to quickly input the change, then basically it's this flowchart that I've um, written out here that will make the change happen. Um, I'm getting the information from this part of the manual, so the flowchart. Uh, which has the overall layout of how you would input the data and then my job code and then um, zeros and one code for this bit of the manual I'm taking from the a couple of pages later so um, if you've got access to the manual the codes I'm looking at are from job code 68 on um, page 70 of the manual so the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H um, letters each refer to either a 0, 1 or a 2 that you input into that code. So for 1 it says always enter 0, so I'm entering 0. For B it's GLU code automatic generation which I'm fine with so I leave that to the default 0. Um, the key one for us is D which is EJ printing and clearing EJ data when issuing general Z1 report. As default, it's set to no, which is zero, but we're going to change that to one. But the way you program the tools, you can't just enter one piece of information. You have to enter all those at the same time, everything for job code 68, else it won't work. So that's how I've generated that code. So I'll now put that in and show you what happens. You turn the key around to PGM. Let's move that out of the way for now. Press your subtotal button here then 68 which is the job code followed by the multiply button and then the code I've moved that just slightly too high up so you can't see it anymore so you've got others program others prog appear on the screen and then we put in the code 00110011 followed by subtotal and then ST get a little printout confirming your programming so it should say the job code on it and then the settings you've applied. Turn the key back around to the reg mode to use the register so the two will still work in the normal way. Then when you do the end of day report, the only difference you're going to notice when you do the Z1, so decimal point TLNS, your top part for your port is going to be exactly the same. So your Z1 is identical to how it normally would be. So up to that point and then everything else that's printed now is your electronic journal so your Z's the same date and time you ran the Z grand totals if you've got them set to appear departments VAT all the normal information including methods of payment and your till totals down the bottom everything else is your electronic journal your EJ so it's a condensed version of everything that's happened on the till since the last time you ran the report so it's like because obviously the 213 is a single station thermal printer machine um, you don't have the second roll as a journal so this machine we're using as receipts in the day and then when we're doing the Z1 report we're now forcing the EJ to run the reason why I recommend doing this is that if you don't print the EJ uh, regularly so you can manually do this report and you can do it every day every week or every month but if you forget to do it and don't have it set up to automatically run then eventually when you get to 8,000 or 9,000 lines depending on how many tools been programmed um, probably 9,000 lines on this machine um, the till comes up with an error message saying that the data is full and you have to um, reprint and clear the data and obviously there's two problems with that a it's inconvenient for it to come up when you're doing sales during a day's trading and the second problem is there's 9,000 lines to print out so that can be a whole till roll and it can take seven or eight minutes to print out so it's massively inconvenient so that's why I recommend if you're using the till in receipt mode to do this setting to force that to print out. Uh, if you've got a 203, so the raised keyboard version of the machine, that setting will also work. Obviously you just you've got a slightly different keyboard so entering it's slightly different but it's still it's still that code um, for it to work. Okay so I hope that video uh, proves useful for yourselves. Um, yeah, there's plenty of other videos, some of which are appearing on screen now helping you program and get the most out of your 213 and other sharp cash registers so you're welcome to check those out you can subscribe to this youtube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more 
thanks for watching